Hello, everybody. We are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild. I did not expect to be making another whitetail grinding video so soon. I know a lot of you have been getting tired of just whitetail videos, so I didn't want to do another one this soon, but I kind of have to now because we managed to bag a super rare. I was just doing some of my daily grinding after recording a couple of videos, and of course, that's when we end up getting something. And at first, I didn't even realize that it was a superer. I was pretty certain that it was going to troll, so I didn't get nearly as excited as I would have been if it would have been guaranteed diamond. If you guys have been hanging out in the live streams recently, you'll know that we've had two piebalds fall just short of diamond recently, uh, to a point where I thought both of them were going to make it until I looked at the score estimates. The first one, I looked at the score estimate, and it was a couple points below diamond. The second one, the top estimate was exactly on diamond, and piebalds always score at the top, so I just assumed that it was going to make it, and then I picked it up, and it didn't. It fell short by 0.06, which is quite tragic. Definitely was soul-crushing, and so I didn't even expect this guy to have a chance at making it because of how those last two had gone. But lo and behold, this is the one that made it. Of course, the one where I didn't expect it to is the one that ended up making it. We did an eight-hour grinding stream the other day, and during those eight hours of grinding, we managed to kill, I believe, over 500 whitetail. I think close to 550, if I'm not mistaken, which is by far the most that I've killed in one day since they made the changes to the spook range. It was pretty crazy. Eight, and, eight hours and 20 minutes of grinding and getting over 550 whitetail is definitely not something you do every day. As you can imagine, with an eight-hour stream, it can be very difficult to uh, stay uh, to stay interested the entire time. And so, uh, before we got too far into it, I think we were about six hours in, I decided to get a couple drinks in me just to make things a little bit more interesting. And because of that, it made some of the... Uh, <laughs> Some of the moments with spotting that uh, su that potential super rare and stuff like that a little bit more interesting than what they would have been otherwise. And because of that, I had a pretty absurd reaction looking back at it. I'm surprised that I was that crazy about it. And uh, you guys will have seen that in a YouTube short. If you haven't already, it'll be in one of the future YouTube shorts. But because of the fact that the last two uh, level two piebalds with the diamond rack were just barely short of diamond... I really had absolutely no faith that this Mela would make it, but lo and behold, of course, the one where I don't expect it to is the one that makes it. So I think without further ado, uh, let's jump straight into that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Are you kidding me? What has been my luck with level two rares with the diamond rack? Oh my gosh. Gosh, that is ridiculous looking. Now, the question is, will this actually make it? I've been getting screwed over the last two times. We had two piebalds that fell between one and two points short. Actually, one of them was 0 .06 short of diamond. Oh my gosh, there's no way that this... There's no way. Do we actually finally have a super rare Mela in front of us? We got trolled by a Mela a few months ago, and it was one of the saddest moments ever that I've ever had in Call of the Wild. Oh my gosh, please don't let this be a repeat. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie though, that doesn't look good. I don't think that rack is gonna make it. I really don't think it's gonna make it. But maybe if we are lucky, it will. It just doesn't look like it has the tip to tip spread. I feel like that guy right there might be in the 240s, unfortunately. Yeah, that doesn't look like it's going to make it. I'd be very shocked if it does. Oh, man, this is so... Uh, this is so unfortunate. Why does this keep happening to me? I'm almost 99% sure this won't make it. That guy doesn't look like he has any chance, unfortunately. But maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe we'll get lucky. Please let this thing be the melanistic super rare that I've always wanted. If it is, this will be one of the greatest trophies we have ever killed. The moment of truth. Let's see what this guy is going to score. Please tell me it's enough. You know, now that I'm looking at it again, that might be. That might be wide enough. Ah, uh, I don't want to jinx it, though. 
Oh my gosh, it is! It's a super rare melodistic! Finally! Of course, that's the way it would happen. The one time where I'm questioning if it's gonna make it, that's when it actually does. And the two piebalds we had over the last couple weeks that were a couple points short, I immediately thought they were super rares. But this guy right here, I didn't even begin to think that it could have been and it was. Oh my gosh, that's insane. We finally have a melanistic super rare. After 32,000 plus kills for Whitetail, this is the first melanistic super rare we've ever had. I'm blown away that we finally have one. <laughs> uh, we may we may not have got a great one to show up yet in this grind, but we definitely got one of the most insane trophies I could have possibly got. This is honestly way more rare and way better than any great one. Oh my gosh. We finally have collected every single rare diamond for Whitetail Deer. Before this, we had multiple piebalds and albinos, but could never seal the deal on Amela. And we finally have. It's not the rack that I wanted, but I don't even care, honestly, at this point. A super rare is a super rare. And this guy is about everything I could have asked for. We got a nice little hard shot on him as well. I still cannot believe that moment where I spotted him. And the first thing that went through my mind was, oh, look at that. Another one that's not going to make diamond. And it was quite crazy to walk up to it and see the tip to tip spread and immediately know that I was probably wrong. It was quite an amazing feeling to see Diamond pop up on that Melanistic as we've been getting screwed over like crazy recently in terms of just stuff being barely short of Diamond for the uh, potential super rares. So it was, it was really nice to finally get one. Not to mention we have been trolled by a Melanistic before. We had a Melanistic level 3 um, probably like 4 or 5, 6 months ago, somewhere in that range where it barely missed it by 0 .03. So that was pretty crushing, almost as crushing as it would have been if we had had it happen twice, but luckily we didn't have to go through that because this one ended up making it, and uh, we ended up getting a really awesome trophy added to our collection. And it looks like the respawns of that uh, Mela and the one next to it are uh, nothing too impressive, unfortunately. It would have been insane if we could have got a uh, super rare to spawn off of a super rare. That is like a dream of mine for these whitetail grinds. I'd love to have something crazy like that happen, like a super rare spawning off a super rare or a great one spawning off of a great one. But so far, we just have not got that lucky, though I really don't expect that to be something that would happen anytime soon. It's a nice thought to think that it could potentially happen in the future. Recently, we've been trying to shoot down this zone to level 1s because it's just not a super efficient zone to grind, unfortunately. Primarily because it doesn't get respawns every single run. It's one of those zones where they show up maybe every other or one in three runs. So it's not exactly the most efficient zone to be grinding. We have so many zones that are way more reliable that I'd rather be grinding. So we're trying to shoot this one down to 1s and hope that we can uh, get a better zone implemented into the rotation we haven't been stacking any of the diamonds so this isn't going as quickly as it normally would but i mean it is what it is we'll just uh keep shooting them down until eventually they uh come back as ones well would you look at that what a way to end things as well that is a big boy piebald right there Right shortly after we got that Melanistic to spawn, I guess our map's just pumping out rares at the moment. We went on a pretty big dry streak of no rares one of these days, and it's looking like maybe it's making up for all that uh, time that we were getting absolutely nothing to show up rare-wise. We're finally getting a lot of rares to pop. We got a few in the stream the other day, and now we've had two just in the last hour or so. Let's sink a shot into that beautiful piebald and uh, see if it's going to be a monster. I imagine it'll be top of the estimate, which is 228. That's typically how piebalds are, but we shall see. Let's take a look at this little guy. Yeah, that's probably going to be 228. That looks like it. And it is 22809. What a beautiful little piebald. Love to get these rares. Definitely not as impressive as our super rare, but still a really nice buck nonetheless. And uh, another nice addition to the trophy lodges. And there we have it, our brand new huddle, Whitetail with our super rare Melanistic, along with the two that barely fell short from the last, like, two weeks of grinding. This is honestly pretty insane. We've been on a crazy streak recently over the course of the last, like, 
3,500 kills or so. We've managed to get these three beauties as well as one, uh, actually two great ones. Two great ones along with these three it, over the course of like 3,500 kills. That's honestly pretty insane and probably one of the better streaks we've been on in terms of good trophies showing up. I just wish these piebalds had made diamonds. It's a little unfortunate that they didn't, but man, am I glad the Mela did. I still can't believe we finally have a Melanistic Super Rare. One of the trophies I've always wanted and I just never could get lucky enough to get. Same with Red Deer. I still don't have a Super Rare Mela Red Deer, even though it's my most wanted trophy of all time. The White Tail was probably one of my top five, though, so I'm really happy that we got it. But thank you all so much for watching. If you're brand new to the channel, you enjoy all the content I put out and appreciate the work that goes into it, uh, feel free to leave a sub and also hit that notification bell while you're at it. If you haven't already, leave a comment down below and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.